Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, I hope you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. The market is still red hot right now. Listen, it's all about crypto. I've been seeing it everywhere now. I do believe that we are starting to see some... Uh, flooding back in but i still think that the interest around retail being in crypto is still at all-time lows but we are starting to see all coins and even meme coins breaking out in big ways it's pretty significant but i also think that this is just the beginning i think that we have a long journey in front of us um, but things are definitely getting very interesting in this space at this current moment in time but outside of that i do want to talk to you guys a little bit about something more interesting and that is what's happening with Swift. So just recently, back in November, November 30th, actually, they posted this. Now, nobody really talked about this heavily, but a lot of people thought that this was also replacing XRP, and they also thought that Swift would eventually kill XRP and Ripple off, um, but that is just not the case. The reason why I say that is because we have here, cross-border payments destined for Europe can now reach beneficiaries in seconds through seamless connection to instant domestic payment systems, with full transparency and end-to-end -end tracking powered by Swift. Now, I know that it says powered by Swift, but you got to understand that Swift doesn't touch clearing or settlement. They have third-party players tapped in for that. This is all a part of the G20's goals for cross-border payments, and if we scroll down here, we could actually see a quote. Interoperability is at the heart of everything we're doing at Swift to achieve our strategy of instant and frictionless payments for all. Now, if we look into this, we could see all of the major players tapped in. So we have Santander, Banco Itao, uh, Unibanco. We also have ANZ, BBVA, and also even a few other ones like a the NAB, National Australia uh, Bank, BNP Paribas. I mean, there are so many players here, but all of these players have some sort of connection back to Ripple, which is pretty crazy to me. And it's at a time where we see Ripple expanding their initiatives with a few players like Medico, for an example. All of these big banks are lining up. A lot of them are already on par with Medico for custody services. And now we're seeing this. Things are starting to change. ISO 2022 was a big mover. But beyond this, we also see swift posting this the capital markets industry is changing rapidly what impact will decentralization and new technologies have and what can financial institutions do to prepare now this is with the dtcc and even sdx sdx we know is tapped in with quant the dtcc though we're talking 2.4 quadrillion dollars per year settled in securities transactions now, we know that Chainlink is working with Swift heavily, which we've talked about in the past. Um, but again, you know, Chainlink is just a connector. But they're telling us what's happening. They're telling us what's coming. The future of finance is here. And it's all centered out on decentralization, new technologies, and the paradigm shift that's undergoing right now. Also, big changes coming to securities markets worldwide. In just six months, the US, Canada, and Mexico are making the leap to T plus one settlement, and institutions globally are bracing themselves. Again, we're seeing major change here. But I want you I, I want all of you to understand that T plus one is not T plus zero. Right? Like we're still talking about waiting a day for settlement here. Now, before I finally jump on in to the connections with Ripple and XRP here. I do just want to let you guys know that I just released a full new drop with tokenized threads. This is my apparel company. We have a ton of XRP t-shirts now. Uh, we have a ton of XRP hats. We also have a ton of XRP beanies. And we have a lot more over on tokenizedthreads.com. If you guys do want to go check out the year-end collection, we have a ton of new items. You guys are more than welcome to tokenizedthreads.com. Links down in the description below. This is in the comments below. Outside of this, though, let's dive on in. So recently, I talked to you guys about the new payment rails that are being placed in, right? These are the DLT and digital rails of the future. 
Now, this got posted by XRP Drops, and I'm going to be quoting XRP Drops quite a bit in this video. Um, but this is from the head of payment products at Ripple, talking about RippleNet, liquidity challenges, use cases, and even XRP. And the direct quote here, because I'm not going to play this video, is about four minutes long. Today, we have hundreds of customers, including big banks, payment services, other non-bank financial institutions, and corporates using our product with XRP at its core, with being the best digital asset for movement of value. Remember, XRP's most incredible use case to date is the bridge currency status. Being able to bridge these worlds together is so crucial. But this is a big deal because again, what we've seen was major discussions undergoing between these leaders around these specific platforms, all talking about shaping the future of cross-border payments. And remember, right, as everyone thinks that SWIFT has no hand to play here, remember that SWIFT and Ripple are working together on the CPMI group with the BIS on cross-border payments, which means they're complementing each other. We've talked about this. Also, check this out. Again, from the same individual. While trillions of dollars are debited and credited cross-border via SWIFT's messaging network, every year there's been a growing trend of countries choosing to either rely on a secondary domestic rail or build their own. SWIFT is too inefficient to be innovated on, and domestic innovations we've seen in India or Brazil in the last few years have quickly leapfrogged SWIFT's capabilities. SWIFT has been the incumbent so long that they're used to calling the shots, and now we're seeing the decline of that position. This is from, a, from an individu individual from Ripple, the same individual that was talking about new payment rails being put in place and how right now hundreds of customers, including big banks and all of these big players, are tapping into XRP now. This is huge. And it's, it's showing you that SWIFT's days are numbered unless they tap into a third-party player like Ripple utilizing it te its technologies, which would immediately allow almost 11,000 institutions to utilize RippleNet underpinned by XRP. And again, the SWIFT system is too complicated and too expensive. Ripple UBRI Connect 2023 Ripple Solutions disrupts the traditional remittances backbone. Ripple payments, speed and cost efficient, transparent and secure, solves the last mile problem with on and off ramps, accessibility and financial inclusion. Check this out. For example, other systems like Swift is very uh, complicated and expensive. I'm not going to explain that diagram, just want to com uh, the complexity of the, uh, of the process. So, First point is that uh, we, uh, blockchains like, uh, like Ripple and XRP are making a good job transforming and disrupting this sector. And my thesis here is that the backbone, the central uh, channel of the remittances is already transformed. We know the benefits, we are achieving speed and cost efficiency, we are also achieving currency and security, and you can see that the, the biggest institutional players are already participating here, are already making some projects, operating big volumes here. However, the challenge remains what I call in the last mile process of the remittance, is when the user has to receive the monies that are sending from the families abroad. Why is that? Because in this we have some challenges that need to be addressed. For example, accessibility and financial inclusion. Why is this important? And why this is related with DeFi? Stable coins are going to be the entrance for the DeFi ecosystem. DeFi is going to open financial and economic opportunities for these people. And I know that that video was a little bit rough audio wise. I kept cutting in and out, but it is what it is, right? We still have all of the information that we need. That Ripple Payments, which is on-demand liquidity, has the speed and cost efficiency that all of these major players need, transparency, security, 
and it's solving that last mile. Like as we look at Ripple and XRP, it's almost impossible at this point in time to think that Ripple and XRP won't be a significant piece of the global financial system. Outside of this, we know that Ripple was running the, the crypto means business campaign. Swift isn't fast enough. More value across borders in an instant with Ripple's crypto solutions for business. Also, from Brad Garthinghouse going back to 2018, there's more volatility risk using Swift over 180,000 seconds than there is using XRP over three seconds. You got to remember, right? Utilizing XRP, when you have three second settlement time, volatility is essentially gone. There's no risk there. Using the dollar when it takes days to settle, the value could significantly change. This is why when we look at what Ripple is doing, it's so damn significant. And also, as we really look at Ripple replacing Swift or becoming the new Swift, I think that at this current moment in time, it's essentially solidified. Why? Because they already have 500 companies. The, the VP of sales in APAC at Ripple revealed this. Over 500 companies are working with Ripple and using XRP as a bridge for cross-border payments. Big shout, out, big shout out to Michael Branch for this. And we've talked about this, right? Like we've already addressed a lot of these organizations, but this is only going to continue to grow because the efficiencies here tapped in are far too great to ignore. I constantly bring this up because I don't think people understand how significant the tech stack behind Ripple payments is with XRP. And remember, that Swift already put the nail in the coffin back in March, or I should say the US did back in March of 2022, when we started to see the biggest players out there pulling away from Swift, pulling away from the US dollar. This is from March of 2022, when we announced the sanctions. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, BRICS will unite, Swift will fail. XRP will rise from the ashes. You are seeing already that they are all going around SWIFT as we speak. They don't need it anymore. What happens when BRICS Plus trades on new rails with no dollar? SWIFT will fail. And it's just the same exact thing that, the, the, again, the product at Ripple, the individual, bringing up the fact that already a lot of these players are relying on a secondary domestic rail or building their own. They don't want to utilize SWIFT anymore. This is significant. And also, last but not least, CBDCs for cross-border payments, China, Hong Kong, Thailand, UAE. It is not dollars. It is not SWIFT. It's something new. It's literally Ripple. We know that it is because in all of these areas, Ripple has a significant name. Bill Winners, Standard Chartered, who invested into Ripple. Singapore FinTech Festival 2023. Check it out. I think there's a lot of, of, uh, of possible applications for CBDCs, uh, but CBDC is, in its basic form is a stable coin. So uh, is that the, the necessary medium of exchange? Can be. Uh, the, 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 the pilots that, uh, that the, the Chinese have led together with, with Hong Kong, Thailand, UAE, others will join with ECNY is using a CBDC for cross-border payment. It's, a, it's obviously, it's a different set of payment rails than, than those conventionally used today. It's not dollars, it's not SWIFT. Uh, it's, it's something new. Will it take off? It could be. I mean, if you have people who are buying and selling that, that wanna go off over a different set of rails. So there you guys have it. And again, this is, I, I think that this is going to be successful because we already start to see, right? We already start to see the big shift happening. And the shift happening is all of these players moving away from inefficient rails, tapping into new age technologies, tapping into what is actually going to bring them into the future of payments. And that is Ripple with XRP. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Peace out.